Hello, Alan. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? Good. How was your day? Uh, it's a real cold, a uh, really hot, uh, a little hot about the weather, but it's fine. Okay. W where do you live again? Uh, I live in front of Moza. Oh, yeah. Uh, in, yeah. in Altos del Boulevard, over the Boulevard del Ejército. Yep, yep, yep. Who lives there with you? Uh, no, no one else. Has, uh, just my, my wife and me. Oh, okay. Good. No children? No children. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> okay, good, good. How much time have you been in Altos del Boulevard? About four years. Four years. And where were you before? Uh, I have lived in San Miguel because I have worked for the for 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 a political institute that it's a PCN. Okay. All right. So then I finished the, I finished my work uh, at the PCN and I and I moved to to San Salvador after. Okay. And you were doing um, work related with uh, technology? No, no. I were working about uh, documents and appointments. Okay. For the politicians. All right. Good, good. So you were there four like years? A, yeah. Yes, so, so I, I I have here in, in San Salvador four years living. Okay. Living and, here. And you are originally from San Salvador. No, no, I born it in San Miguel. Okay, I was born in San Miguel. Okay, good. good. I was born in San Miguel. All right, good, good. All right, so so you're a Gilucho. Uh, no, <laughs> no, not really. Okay, so, so you don't I, follow I like... soccer. Uh, I follow more the, the El Dragon. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, so hello, Nelly, Andy, and Ivan. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. So how was your day, people? Um, good day. so. Okay. Did you so go tired. anywhere or did you stay home? I stay I'm right. at home. Okay. I home office. Okay, home office. Who else? I went to work. What is it? I went to work. Okay. Uh, what's the distance from your house to your work, Andy? I guess she cannot hear me. Maybe. All Sorry? Right. No. I said, what's, what's the distance from your house to your work? Maybe 10 minutes. Okay, driving? For, for yes, for the uh, when I take the bus, if I walk to work, I maybe thirty minutes. All right, good. So a thirty-minute walk is not bad. No. Okay, good. All right, so let's review what we did yesterday. Um, what were the topics we covered yesterday? Can you refresh we my have, memory? We have spoken about simple present and, and present perfect. Okay. So can you tell me the differences between the simple present and present perfect? The simple present is a, it's a time for the things that are happening all the time. Okay. Uh, and no, no, no. The, the present perfect. Mm, the yes. simple pa the simple present is when you you do a uh, every day uh, daily activities. Yes. 
That is correct. Yeah. You use the simple present to talk about daily activities. When do you use yes. present perfect? To talk about unfinished activities, things good. that yeah. begin in the past them. and okay. still continue. All right, good. Now remember that with the present perfect, um, sometimes the action is not active when you're speaking, but it can happen again in the future. So I have been in Mexico two times. Right now I'm in El Salvador, but I'm using present perfect. Why? Because I can return to Mexico in December, or I can return to Mexico next year, or whenever the emergency is finished. So going to Mexico uh, is not finished yet, until I'm dead, right? Uh, what's the auxiliary we use for the present perfect? Have. Have. Have or? Has. Has. Good. Have or has. What's the difference between those two? In because have, have is for, for I, you, and, and have it. For his, she, and it. For his, okay. she. Okay. So you use have for I, you, we, they. When do you use has? For she, he, he and it. She and you it. talk he. about third person in singular. Yes, third person singular. In other words, he, she, and it. And what is the form of the verb? What's you the have form? to add is at the end. Okay. Uh, I when... think it's in the past form. Okay, someone else? What What is the form of the verb when we're using present perfect? Oh. It's past participle. Past participle. Past participle. So you say, nice to meet you. My name is Francisco. And then you tell me, yo usted lo he visto antes. How do you say that? I've seen you before. I've seen you before. Seen, S double E N. Seen. I've seen yeah, you before. Seen. I've seen you before. So let's watch a movie. So you see Forrest Gump. I've seen that movie many times, and you will watch it again. So um, you use past participle of verb B of verb C. Uh, see, saw, seen. So you use the same form of the verb. Okay, um, do you have any questions regarding yesterday's topics? Is there any rules uh, of how we use the verb in past participle? Yes, uh, that's a good question. Uh, well, most of the English books, I cannot say all of them because not all of them have a list of verbs. Uh, most of the English books, they have an, a list, usually on the back, of present, past, and past participle. So whenever you're using uh, present perfect tense, the form of the verb has to be, must be, past participle. So um, I have broken my arm two times. I have broken my arm two times. So whenever I'm using past pa uh, present perfect, I must use the past participle of the verb. Whether because the- Because you can- Uh-huh. Because you can break your, your, your arm again in the exactly. future, right? Exactly. So I said, oh man, you know, like, um, how do you say yes so in English? I don't remember. Uh, shark. Cast. Shark. Out. Cast. Out. Cast. Cast. Yeso. Okay. Cast. Okay. So you see someone with a cast, and this person is having problems to walk. So you said, "I have a, a cast two times in my life." But then again, I, yes, uh, Alan. I I remember that. Yes, it's, it's 
write shock on on a book, right? But the shock. shock is for for shock, writing. Yeah. Now for I'm writing. talking about the yeso when you break your bones. Yeah. So you say cast. Cast. Okay. So you said I have had a cast two times in my life, but maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, I I have an accident and I end up with a cast again. So having a cast is not completely finished. So Pamela, uh, whenever you use in present perfect and the information is positive, negative, or a question, the form of the verb has to be past participle. Okay, not just in positive sentence. No, no. Positive, negatives, and question form, the form of the verb is always past participle. Okay, thank you. Yes. Anybody else has uh, other questions? No. No. All right. So, everybody here has a job. Let me ask you, why do you need a job? Because I need to pay bills. <laughs> okay, you need to pay bills. Okay. What else? What is another reason why people need jobs? Uh, to get money for buy some things or like clothing or shoes and food. Okay, good, good. Anybody else? Why do people need jobs? Because I have family. Yes, because you have a family and your family needs things. Okay, anybody else? Why you need a job? Because you need to create independence, teacher. Own independence. Okay, good. Job helps to to create or to be more responsible or, or have more obligation. I don't know. Okay, good, good. Any other opinions? Why people need jobs? Because a lot of people is poor. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And we, yeah. And we need money. Yep. And and many people live hand to mouth. Hand to mouth. To mouth. Coyol quebrado, coyol comido. So uh. Unluckily, uh, that's our reality. If people don't work, they don't eat. Simple as that. All right, anybody else wants to give an opinion about why people need jobs? To get experience in your career. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. to get experience in your career. That's a good answer. Uh, anybody else? Okay, so let's do some reading. Do you guys see the image? Yes. All right. So, yes. What's the name of the exercise? Why do you why do you need a job? Why do you need money? Why do you need a job? Why do you need a job? Need a job. All right, scan the profiles, who is in high school, who's in college, who's a new parent. These people need jobs. Read about their schedules, experience, and why they need a job. All right, so let's start with the first one, Teresa Glass. Um, and I need a volunteer so he or she can read that part. I will do. Okay, thank you, Alan. Teresa Glass, I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all on Monday, all day on Monday, Wednesdays and Thursday. And on Tuesday or Tuesday mornings, I usually study on weekends or don't have any experience, but I can learn quickly. All right, good. Are there any questions uh, with that information? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. No. 
All right, I need a second volunteer for Karen Thomas. Hi. Okay, yes. Karen Thomas, my husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job and I can do at home. I know how to type and I have a computer. All right, good, thank you. Any questions here? No, no. no. All right, no. and the last volunteer? Me. All right, Andy. Uh, I'm 16 now and I don't, I get, I get an allowance from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go, go out on the when weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. My father owns a restaurant, so I know a little about restaurant work. All right, good. Do you have any questions there? The meaning of the Okay. That's, okay. Um, what is what is a better definition for allowance? I. It's like. It's tolerancia, but oh. in that context, I. Okay. Anybody no, else? But, but this uh, we're talking we're speaking about or talking about uh, vocabulary. Like the people use usually, like allowance is like to say pedir permiso in the okay. USA. Okay. Okay. Um, anybody else? Allowance means mesada. Oh. It's the oh. money. It's it's the money that you receive every three days, every five days, every week from oh. your father or your mother. It's kind of different, like I have read before. Yes. So in this case, when we're talking about allowance, uh, we're talking about money that you receive. Okay. Yes. That word have another meaning? Yes, when you get permission to do something. Yeah. It's when you get permissions. Yes, but in this case, we're talking about money. Okay, anything else? No. No, no. My father owns a restaurant. What's the meaning of own in that case? Uh, dueño. 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 Yes. Propietario. Yes, very good. Very good. All right, do we have any questions? No. No. Okay, no. so who's in high school? Who is in high school? Uh, Lamar. Lamar. Okay. Lamar. Who is in college? Teresa. 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 And who's a new parent? Karen. 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 Okay. How old is Karen's baby? How old is oh. the baby? How do you say no this say in English? Don't say. Don't say. Don't say. It doesn't say. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, it doesn't say. say. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. You say, how old is the baby? You said, it doesn't say. She only mentions that it's a new baby. Okay. Um, any questions here? No. 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 All right, good. Um, so we're going to do some um, knowledge check. Let me, let me, all right. Do -do -do. Intermedio, pre-intermedio. 
Give me a second. Um, knowledge check. Have you been working in the platform? Yes. yes. No. Yes. All right. Yes, I have. I hear no. a lot of people saying yes, and that is good. Yes. All right. So first one, my name is. 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 Okay, I'm from Mexico. My family. My family. family. My family. Mexico. Mexico City. Okay, good. Question number three. My brother is. Is. Number five. Her name. Her name. Her name. Her name. My name is Sunhee Park. Yes, my name. My name. My name. My name is Sunhee Park. I'm 20 okay. years old. Now, okay. if someone asks you what's your name, then you will say her name is Sunhee Park. I'm 20 years old. But in that case, you are introducing yourself. So my name is better. Okay, what about number six? Is. My sister is. 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 My sister is. Okay, very good. Is is the right answer. What about number seven? My last Her. name. My last I'm Elizabeth, name. But everyone calls me Beth. It my last name is Silva. My. Okay, my. Uh, number eight. Question. I'm. I'm, I'm a student at City College. I'm a student at uh, City I'm College. College. Okay, now she's a student at City College. I'm a student at City College. You're a, you're a student at City College. And number nine. My parents, My parents are in Canada are on vacation this week. Okay, are in Canada on vacation this week all right so i don't see any problems with you guys doing this exercise uh let's knowledge check Okay, so what's the answer for letter uh, number one? Who's that? Who's that? What about that? number two? Where is she from? Where is she from? Where is she from? Number three? What's her first name? What's her first name? Her first name. Okay, Who what about number four? Who are the two students over there? Okay, good. What about number five? Where, Where are they from? from? Where are they from? Where are they from? Okay, and number six? How are they like? What are they like? Uh, what are they like? They like. They're shy, they but, shy, but they like. friendly. very friendly. What are they like? All right. Um, do you have any questions with this uh, last exercise we just did? No. 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 All right, no. let's do one more. Uh -huh -huh. And we go here with the last one.
Okay. Now going back to the prepositions. What's the answer for number one? At, 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 six. at, at six. At six. Okay, what about number two? I in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Number three. I start work at Okay. What about number four? I stay at at in an a.m. on weekend. Weekend. Okay, what, 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 what is what is what is number no, four? I have four lunch in at two p.m. In the afternoon. Okay, what about number five? I stay up on weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Okay, what about the next one? I I wake up late on Sunday. On Sundays. On Sundays. <laughs> number seven. I watch TV to be in the evening. In the evening. What about number eight? I do my homework. I do my homework at four in the afternoon. Yes, around. What about number nine? Around. I work on weekends. Weekdays. And the last one? I get, get home late. late. I get home late. 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 All late. right, good. So I don't see any problems with you guys here. Uh -huh. So let's. Um... I know that you can with two one, but you can with me. The chart. Do you see the chart? Yes. 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 Okay, so let me send the image there. All right. Yeah. Um, did you receive the image? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. So let's break our rooms. Participants, we have six. Create rooms. Here we go. So, but teacher, what are we gonna do with the room? Uh, sorry, uh, you need to classify each of the options that we have there and uh, In the chart. See. Yes, so you have to decide if Sunday is at Sunday, in Sunday, or on Sunday. Okay. All right, so just classify which is the best option for each one. Okay. All right. So let's do this. Let's see. Room two.
On my birthday. On my birthday, right? At my five, right? My five. Yeah. Uh, at image of uh -huh. person in the WhatsApp group. In the afternoon. In the morning. Yes. Um, 23rd. I don't know. Let me check the, the other picture from yesterday. Uh, no, it's bedtime. The last one is bedtime. Teacher. Yes, sir. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. In your day? It was good. No. I, I went to San Salvador, did a few things, and came back to Lourdes like around 2.30 or 3 p.m., I think. And zero traffic, did you? No traffic. No, no traffic. traffic. Yes. So traffic has been very friendly and helpful. Um, so we, uh, we move faster than what we usually do. Yes. Yes. Sure. Do you guys go to work? No, I, I had home office. Okay, home office. And you, Ivan? No, Ivan is, is home office. I, I oh. have to go to my office. All right. Yes. Good. Good. Did you guys finish the exercise? Uh, so, so, teacher. All right, so keep practicing. Vaya, empieza usted. Sí. In the morning. At noon, at midday. On my... In, no, on a holiday. On Monday morning. In the ninety, in the nineteen nineties. Eh, at bed, at at bedtime. Yeah. Bien raro. <laughs> at at bedtime. bedtime. Uh, Confused. Yes. And in the morning. At noon, at midday. On my birthday. At 7.30. This is another, it's an example, preposition of time. I just have one. Which one? This one. Uh, El que acabamos de hacer. Ah, ah okay. Mm -hmm. Pero sí, la mayoría de las que hemos hecho. At midday. Ah, yes, yes, at noon. Uh, oh, oh, 
Only that. Yeah. You guys finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, let me check with the others. On Monday morning, in the 1990s, at bedtime. Okay, sweet. In the morning, at noon, at midday, on my birthday, at 10.30, on May 5th, in summer. You guys finished? Yes. All right. So let's return. So, did you have the chance to finish um, the exercises? Yes. yes, sure. All right, are there any questions? So, if I say in the morning, what is the correct preposition? In the morning. Okay. In the morning. Noon or midday? At noon or oh, at, at noon. Midday. Okay, my birthday on um, 10 30. On at 10 30. At 10 30. May 5th. Um, May 5th. Summer. In summer. summer. Sunday. In summer. On Sunday. On Sunday. February. In February. In February. Uh -huh. In February. A weekday. On, on a weekday. On a weekday. On a weekday. On a weekday. What about midnight? At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. The afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. afternoon. Wednesday evening. In, in, the in the evening. In, in, the, in evening. the evening. Okay, in remember, the evening. it says Wednesday evening. Wednesday oh, evening. On Wednesday evening. Oh. Yes. Now remember that the word evening has only two syllables. Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. 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 Yes. What about Tuesday afternoon? On Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. Winter? In winter. Do you say the evening or the evening? In the evening. 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 In the, evening. the weekend or the weekend? On the weekend. On, on the weekend. On the weekend. Night. At night. At night. night. Fall or autumn. At night. In fall. In fall. Autumn. Okay. Spring. In the spring. In spring. Two thousand thirteen. In two thousand thirteen. Okay. A holiday. On holiday. On holiday. On holiday. Monday morning. On Monday morning. On Monday morning. The 1990s. In the 90s. In the 90s. And bedtime. At bedtime. At bedtime. Very good. Are there any questions? Questions, questions? Okay. Now we go with um, another exercise. Now, do you guys remember the meaning of one and one? One, 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 one and one. 
once es uno y once es una vez. Okay. Now, when I say once, I'm saying O N E S. Once. Okay. Do you have my books? Which ones? Which ones? What is? Uh huh. If I said, Do you have my book? And you have no idea what I'm talking about, you will say, Which, which one? one? Which one? Right. So, which what is one? the function of one or once? One is for singular and singular one is plural. for plural. Okay, so one is singular, once is plural. And we use them to replace nouns. So if I said, where's my money? Now, money doesn't apply because it's non countable Said, where's my pen? Which one? Which one? Now, what if I Which say, one? where are, where are my pencils? Which ones? Which ones? Which ones? All right. So let's take a look at this. Here we go. Okay. What do you see in the picture? Conversation. It's a couple. It's a couple. Earring. Okay. Where are they? Where are they? At the jewelry. Yes. At the mall. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> At, At the, the jewelry. Mall. At the jewelry. It's a present. It's your birthday. Okay. Maybe it's her birthday. Yes. And what kind of jewelry do you see there? Uh, a pair of earrings. earrings. Uh huh. Earrings. Earrings and necklace. A necklace. 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 Okay. So, what is the description about the woman? She's wearing a a green Any woman. A green, green blouse. A green dress. Okay. Is she thin? Heavy? It's a skinny. <laughs> thin. Okay. How old do you think she is? Maybe 30? 30? 32. 30? Okay. What about the guy? What what is the description you have about the guy? He's wearing a suit. It's a sugar daddy. He has a <laughs> straight hair. Hey. Okay, so you this is Okay, so we have Steve and we have Maria. So I'm going to read it one time and uh, then you check if you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation. Okay, so here we go. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Any questions? No. 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 Okay. So, so I need two volunteers. No. I need one Steve and I need one Maria. I'm going to be Steve. Okay. Maria. 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 Me. Who said me? Gloria. Gloria. Okay. One, two, three. Go. Uh, Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow one. Oh, this? Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that nickel isn't bad. Which one? 
that blue one right there. How much is it? It's it's forty two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It is your birthday present. Happy birthday. All right. Are there any questions related with uh, pronunciation or meaning? So let me ask you, what is the function of one or ones? What's the function? One is an, one is a, it's for plural and ones is once is for plural, one is for singular, but it's... Okay. So, if I said, did you see that car? Which one? Which one? Which one? One is making reference to car. For one thing. Yep. Right. So, it makes reference for something you previously mentioned. Yes. Okay. What if I said, um, did you bring the boxes? And I and you said, which ones? What does which ones indicate? Well. Right. So, ones is making reference to the plural of box. Right? Are there any questions related with um, with that conversation? No. No. Okay. No. So no. I will uh, put you to work in pairs again. Um, take a picture of this. <laughs> Okay, did you receive the the image? Yes. Yes. All right. So let me put you in pairs again. Open all rooms and you practice the conversation. Okay. All right, let's do this. A those earrings, Maria, they're perfect for you. This is one, I'm not sure. No, no, the that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there, how much is it? It's $42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present, happy birthday. Um, switch address. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at those earrings. Oh, this um yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad, teacher. Yes, teacher. sir. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>
these red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is a really good f color for me. Well, that necklace is black. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's for two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Switch. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Okay. You guys finished? Yeah, yeah. two times. Both. All Goodbye. right, so let's return. Okay. All right, did everybody get the chance to read that conversation? Yes. Yeah. All right, are there any questions related to it? No. 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 Okay, are there any questions related with the different topics we covered on the week? No. No, is everything clear? Is everything clear? Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to stop here. Uh, once again, I thank you for your time, for making the space to be in class. And if you don't have any questions, I'll be seeing you Monday, same place, same time. Thank you. All right, you guys have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend for all. Have a nice weekend for all. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice weekend.